Hello, YouTube family members and friends. I'm in Cleveland. I'm here for the next week to visit our new granddaughter, Reagan Rose. Also, while I'm here this week, I've got the opportunity to participate in the Basics Conference hosted by Pastor Alistair Begg at Parkside Church. I'll also have an opportunity to do a couple other things, but I'm not sure what those are yet, so come along. Good Sunday morning. We're going for a hike. Yay! Yay! Going to the ball game. pre-game entertainment. We're here at Progressive Field to watch the Indians take on the Mariners. Jalapeno chicken casserole last night wasn't hot enough. We got spicy chicken sandwich, spicy chicken tenders, yep. and since we're so close to Canada, I had to get short rib poutine. Well, we're leaving the game early. It's 10 nothing in the sixth inning, so not much of a chance for the Indians to pull off the sweep against the Mariners today. But I got a hat, and I got us a refrigerator magnet for the All-Star game. Good Monday morning. It's a beautiful morning here in the Cleveland area. First, I want to give you a recap of what we did yesterday. We went for a hike, dog walk in the morning. Uh, with Grizzly so he could get um, all his energy out for the day and then we went over to Progressive Field to see a baseball game between the Cleveland Indians and the Seattle Mariners unfortunately the Indians did not do too well but uh, it was a great time anyway now we're off to Parkside Church for the basics conference over the next couple of days I'll give you a few updates from there and um, we'll talk to you later Basics Conference at Parkside Church is just wrapping up. It was an amazing couple of days of uh, encouragement from pastors, not only here locally, but from around the world. It was a great opportunity to learn from the Bible what it is we're all called to do as Christians to reach out to those who haven't heard the gospel. So I'm just thankful for the opportunity to have been here.
Now we've got a couple days to explore the Cleveland area, so we're gonna do that. Good morning, it's a beautiful day today. There's a nice warm breeze blowing. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today after being in the 50s and 60s uh, ever since I got here on Saturday. The reason it's so warm and a little bit muggy is there's some thunderstorms on the way. They're coming from the south and west. So since we've got a full day of exploring to do, I thought I'd hop in the car and head south and west. As I was looking at the map, I noticed that there's a place south and west of here that Lori and I first went to about 10 years ago in our travels across the country, Grandpa's Cheese Barn. I'm hoping it's still as much fun when I get down there today. cheese barn is still here. Uh, the area is built up a little bit around it, but uh, I'm going to head inside and see if it's still like it used to be. Also here, right next to Grandpa's Cheese Barn, is Sweetie's Chocolates. This is where Lori and I were introduced to one of our guilty pleasures, chocolate-covered Fritos. Let's see if they still have any. They're not Lucky Charms, they're Lucky Charm-like. Hmm, chocolate alligators. That's a first. That was a lot of fun. Um, it's pretty much the way I remembered it, but I was talking to the cashier as I was uh, paying for the items I got today and told her that last time Lori and I had been here was 10 years ago, and she mentioned that a lot of things have changed, and I uh, reminded her that it looked like to me a lot hadn't changed. That included the the breadth and width of the cheeses that they had available and just the overall feel of the place. Everybody was so nice and there's just so much to choose from. It was a great time. But it's getting kind of windy and cloudy now and I think the storms are starting to roll in so I'm going to jump in the car and head on out of here. know you're in Amish country when they have giant horse-drawn carriage statues. A unique feature of the East and Midwest, something that um, we didn't really see growing up in California, are very old cemeteries. Here's a reminder of the blessings that uh, we enjoy living in our time. This couple's Looks like they had uh, three small children who didn't live any more than six months. We are so blessed to have medical technology that uh, makes this kind of infant mortality a thing of the past. As I was driving along, I noticed this steeple on a side road off the main highway. I pulled over and took a look, and this is the church of the St. Alphonsus Catholic Church just outside of Norwalk, Ohio. Right next door is a restored log cabin where St. John Newman, the first American male saint of the Catholic Church, said mass as an itinerant priest at the beginning of his career. Well, the rain has started. Haven't seen any lightning yet. Now 
I'm kind of sorry it started raining. I'm in Norwalk, Ohio. There are some beautiful old homes, a beautiful old downtown district. I would have loved to have gotten out and walked around and showed it to you, but it's pouring rain. Well, we're back at the house now. Made a big circle south and west and north, back east, and now we're back home again. It was a great drive today. It was fun stopping by Grandpa's Cheese Barn again and having a look at the place. Didn't run into a whole lot of rain. It's now just blowing in here, so we may get some thunder and lightning tonight. We'll see. Tomorrow, I'm hoping to go to downtown Cleveland and maybe up by the lakeshore. See you then. Good morning. It is a cold, damp morning after the storm moved through last night. Uh, yesterday's high was around 80. Today, it's only supposed to get into the 50s. Um, it's that time of year here in the Cleveland area. I've got one more day to hit the road and go exploring. I thought first we'd go downtown and start at the West Side Market to see what they've got there. I'm in downtown Cleveland in the parking lot of the West Side Market. It's a vendor stall open air market inside this old building here. So I'm gonna go inside and have a look. Personally, I don't think you need to put candy on bacon to make it any better. I don't know if you can read that sign or not, but it says apple fritter. Those look amazing. Those don't look too bad either. This place is amazing. right there is reason alone to move to the Cleveland area. They had stalls with fresh meat, every kind of pork, ham, poultry, fish. They had bakeries, um, just a huge variety of vendors, all with incredibly high quality items. I got a few things for dinner tonight, some soft pretzel rolls, some bratwurst, German potato salad, coleslaw. So we'll give them a try. Okay, I have to admit, I did get something for myself. One of those giant apple fritters. That is really good. Just the right amount of apple and glazing. It's really cakey inside, really thick. That's pretty good. Okay, what's a trip to Cleveland without at least a stop by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I'm not gonna go in today, we'll save that for another trip, but here I am. This is a view of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame I've never seen before. I didn't realize it sat right on the lakefront. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is located right next to First Energy Stadium where the Cleveland Browns play and the Regional Science Center. This is the steamship William G. Mather, the ship that built Cleveland. One big lake. I'm at 
Upper Edgewater Park, and that is an amazing view of Cleveland behind me. I suspect in the summertime when the weather warms up a little bit, this is a great place to hang out. There's lots of open space to run around, lots of picnic tables here on the edge of the cliff overlooking the water. Beautiful. And right over there is Lower Edgewater Park. It looks like it's got a nice beach to hang out on. Not quite like the ones we used to visit in Southern California. Thank you, City of Cleveland. That's a great photo op. Good morning. I'm heading home today. It's been a wonderful week. Got to meet Reagan Rose, our latest grandchild, spend time with Brandon and Allison, uh, go to the basics conference, and spend a couple days sightseeing. All in all, it's been a blessed time here in Ohio. We are so thankful to God for all of the blessings that he gives us, not just for our good, but ultimately it's all for his glory.